as the old world collapses, a new world is birthed. We are here and we know that to be architects of a new paradigm. But as that old world collapses, there's going to be a lot of displaced people and a lot of displaced people are going to need somewhere to come to. They're going to need someone to come to and they're going to come for you. Why? Because you've walked through the dark night of the soul because you're very well versed in this path of pain. You've traversed it. You've walked your own inner falling apart of the inner structures and that's what we're going to be talking about the structures of the world that are collapsing we're going to talk specifically about the monetary structure because i think if you can wrap your head around that one you can wrap your head around what i'm talking about in terms of this old world collapse and i want to end today's conversation with why these displaced people from the old world are going to come looking for you needing for you are you going to show up for them should you show up for them. And if you do, how? What will that even look like? So that's where we're going to go. But let's start with energetically looking at where we are right now, the collapse of the old world. So this is what it looks like. Imagine that the old world is held up with these pillars, these big structures that carry the weight of a very dysfunctional world that we were born into. So it didn't really look dysfunctional. It never does. A dysfunctional family, when you're in the midst of it, doesn't look dysfunctional until you take a step back. So this is where we are. We're taking a step back, looking at, wow, that was never a normal world. And I know that something in you did always know that, even if it couldn't articulate that. Something in you, even as a child, would have looked at these structures, the schooling system, the governance system, the political, the, the monetary system. You would have looked at all these pillars, these structures that hold up the dysfunctional world we once belonged to and said, there's another way. Even when you can't name what that other way would look like, there's another way to do this because something in you was always wired for new, which is really not new, which is really a return to the universal harmony from whence you come. But before we get there, before we get to that architecture, which we're in the process of redesigning the architecture of the new earth, that's not going to be held up with these pillars, these old structures, so to speak. It's going to be held up in a very, very different way. I'm going to talk about that. Let's talk about this one particular crumbling structure. Because what we have are these crumbling structures. This is how we know that there is an imminent change upon the planet. Let me repeat that because I know that you know it. But let me repeat it anyway so that your heart can hear it. There is an imminent change that's about to take place on the planet that you live that is going to change life so completely, so utterly, so totally. It's undeniable. These crumbling pillars, these crumbling structures were purposely put there by globalists who wanted control over humanity. Humanity, however, is at a tipping point of either having those pillars reinserted by the very same people that put them there in the first place, just with more control now. So there are those who are standing in the wings, waiting for their moment to step in, those globalist elites to step in and say, well, look, there's a new pillar. We're going to swap this one system for a new, better system, which isn't going to be better. It's just going to put humanity into more enslavement because ultimately that's what these old structures did. They put humanity into a one up, one down situation where there was always, whether it was the schooling system, the monetary, the governance, whatever it was, there was always, look at the imbalance of power that these structures created. So humanity is going to be given the choice, the option for new structures that are even more controlling even more disempowering. You need to be wise that you don't unconsciously, inadvertently, through your desire to see those structures crumble, the monetary system in particular. Your desire to see those structures crumble is going to be so big that you're going to cheer it on. You're going to go, yeah, 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 we need to get rid of this stuff so that we can get a new pillar in, a new structure in. To replace the old one that's going to be even worse? No. So be careful when you advocate for things that are actually a globalist agenda. Rather look at what, what would a, a higher perspective be here? Because I'll tell you what a higher perspective is. It's this. Here's my water. Now, this water, let's just say it came from the tap. 
you and I would probably say the same thing, and that is not really good water, is it? Because we know the stuff that comes out of our taps, it's not what we should be drinking. So what do we do then? Do we say, okay, we've got to get rid of all the water on the planet because it's toxic. All the water, let's just get rid of it all. No, we're going to purify the water. We're going to purify the water. We're not going to get rid of a system. We're going to purify it. Please, will you remember, we're not here to take those pillars down. We're here to purify them. And in, in purifying them, the pillars, because ultimately what these pillars are, are putting gods on top of pedestals and humanity at the bottom. That's ultimately what these pillars are. What we're going to do when we purify these structures, this pillar, it's not going to collapse and crumble. It is going to level itself to an even playing field. It's going to stop putting humanity in that disempowered spell, that disempowered state of being. I know, I know, I know. My comment section is going to be filled with everybody going, Kerry, Kerry, how do we purify the money system? Before we even get to the how do we purify the money system, because it's actually a really sim simple answer, let's understand one thing at a time. That the purification, not just, I'm, I'm using the monetary system as an example because it's such a, it's such an important one. It's something that we all use and see every single day. Every system, every system is important. But I feel like if we can understand the crumbling of the monetary system and how else we can do this, I feel like we can look at all of those other structures and we can see different potentials. One that it does not necessarily involve chaos. We don't have to blow up these pillars. We don't have to shake them until they crumble. You can. All I'm saying is you don't have to. So let's look at the monetary system and understand something that I'm sure you already know, and that is that it is thoroughly, totally completely corrupt it is a game that is rigged and the players of that game meaning humanity are never going to win they're going to lose no matter how much money they accumulate why because there's a monetary spell there is a literal spell in the monetary system that causes humanity to lose their soul that causes humanity to become greedy and selfish does everybody who earns money do this no but every single person who earns money has the exposure to this spell, which is why you get people in the world that will put profits before people. These are the people of the old structure that are going to be very displaced when that system either crumbles or is purified and brought to its rightful place. Because the rightful place of money is merely a token of exchange. Your survival in a higher consciousness world would never be dependent on money. Your uh, buying of food, of, of water, your having shelter, that would never, never, never be related to money. So in other words, money would stop being a survival-based tool. It would merely be a token of exchange. What does that look like in great detail? I'm not going to go there in, in this video. I want rather in this video to talk about what your role is as these structures crumble because that's way more important. You know, we always want to go a hundred steps ahead instead of the one, two, three in front of us. The one, two, three in front of us don't require us today to have that new system ironed out, to debate what it's going to look like because in higher consciousness environments, we don't debate. We know. We simply align to higher truth and we step right into it. So you've got to trust the process that as you step into higher and higher truths, you're going to know and it's going to become more clear, more blatant, more obvious by the minute, by the day. But the first few steps in front of us are how do we purify not just the monetary system but all the systems how do we do that by purifying yourself i cannot take my water and i cannot put light into my water unless i have light in me i cannot purify this unless there is something in me that is capable of holding the divine light of consciousness that comes directly from god source creator in my being step number one purify yourself in the purification of self all of those external structures are going to be purified no not crumbled not disintegrated not violently blown up but simply brought into their natural alignment because you are bringing yourself into your natural alignment. It will be graceful. Hear that word. Could you ever have imagined that, that the systems are going to crumble 
gracefully that those pillars, those old structures are not going to be turned into debris necessarily. That this can be a very, very graceful transition if, if it takes place from a higher consciousness perspective. And we're being given that opportunity. We're simply being given... Do you guys want to do it violently and do you want to have those systems blown apart or do you want to do this beautifully, gracefully, lovingly, with ease, with joy, with an empowered sense of look at what we did. One person at a time, one person at a time, not trying to change everybody else, only, only bringing the purity of God's source consciousness and the alignment of God's source consciousness into their beingness. And living it and when they live it they resonate it and when they resonate it it becomes a ripple and that ripple ripples into everything and other people suddenly without knowing where that ripple was initiated and instigated which is going to be you they may not necessarily know that but they're going to wake up and they're going to go I don't know why but I feel more peaceful today I don't know why but I don't want destruction anymore I don't know why but suddenly I'm seeing potentials where there were closed doors before I'm seeing opportunities where there were none before so we're not here to have those pillars swapped out by other authorities we're here to purify them by purifying ourselves but remember i said in the beginning of the video i want to talk to you about where are the people from the old world i'm gonna go there's gonna be a lot of displaced people there's a lot of people and i spoke to one of them a couple of weeks ago it was somebody who i had known from school days and i spoke to this person and i realized in this conversation man this person is just all about their financial gain. They were all about, what am I going to get out of this? How am I going to profit from this? Business, business, business. There was no human sincerity, contact, heart connection, none of that. It was absolutely profits before people. It was, I'll sell my own mother just to make a, a, a buck. You know, it was that kind of mentality, which is not unique to one individual, right? Let me talk very quickly about the monetary spell. I did touch on that just a few moments ago. The monetary spell, look at the word mono, money, man, one. Look at the word one, O-N-E, right there in the middle of money. What that spell is, is inverting oneness to selfishness, to greed. That's what that spell does. And those who have fallen into that spell deem themselves successful based on how sincerely that spell is working for them. Now, what is success going to be like when that system is no longer there, when those pillars are no longer there? What is that going to look like? Where, where are these people going to derive a sense of self from, a sense of success from, a sense of identity from, if all of the monetary system not necessarily collapses, but is purified and no longer defines hierarchy in the world or determines hierarchy in the world, determines value in the world. What would that look like then for these display? I'm calling them displaced people because can you imagine? They're so used to the old system. Now suddenly it's not there anymore. There's going to be this real who am I now? And that is when they're going to seek you out. That's when they're going to remember your phone number and go, well, you know, I did speak to this person a couple of years, months, lifetimes ago, whatever it is. And they... They know the answer. Something in these displaced people, something in them is going to know to reach to you. Something in them is going to know you've walked a very hard journey. You've walked a truly difficult path. I know that. I know that because that is what determines a being of light's light. Is how deep and dark the path was and how they traversed through their own pain to come out as an example of one who has traversed pain so that others can traverse their own pain by the example of those shining lights. That's you. You are that shining light for others. If, please let me highlight and underline that word, if, if. You choose. So I'm not saying you've got to be. I'm simply saying there's going to be a lot of people who've traversed their darkness that are going to show up for those when those systems do land up eventually being purified. There's going to be a lot of you who choose to show up for others. And will you then be able to show up with forgiveness? Will you then be able to show up 
without a sense of I told you so, without a sense of look how wrong you were, without a sense of judgment. Because if you come in with judgment, you are propagating the old. If you come in with neutrality, not, oh, what you're going through is so bad. Oh, you see, look at what I went through. None of the old, none of the old storylines. Because true purification, true purification is a non-attachment to the old stories. And when you show up in that state, you become a ripple. You become the beacon of light that ignites the light of others that they switch on so quickly. And you're going to look at them and you're going to go, damn, it took me years to get what they're getting. And they're getting it in minutes. You're getting it in minutes because you took years to get it. That, for many of you, is your service. That, for many of you, is your offering. I'll walk that hard path. I will do that for humanity. I will do that on behalf of humanity. Not do it for them, because nobody can do it for you. Each individual must do it for themselves. But to make the path easier for others. Your role was never meaningless. Your pain, your suffering was never meaningless. It's the very thing that is going to cause those displaced from the old world. It's what's going to cause them to seek you out and they will seek you out they will need you you don't have to be available for them you don't have to show up for them if you would choose that it would serve them greatly so purify bottom line yourself gold light flooding through your column your column of light is gold your column of light is you anchoring deep, deep, deep into the earth, high, high, high up into the heavens. You have a column of gold light. There's a beautiful course that I did called The New Human. That's on my shop on my website. And we go deep into that gold light and how to work with it. That is your, your, the structure of your chakric column. That is your alignment to purity, to God source consciousness. You purify with that gold light and others reap the rewards. So you're not doing this for them. You're doing this for you. Please always remember that. You're not coming here as a martyr. You're not coming out, oh, I'm doing this for humanity, my pain, my toil, my suffering. No, you're doing this to serve as a light, as an example, to show others what they can do. Not to do it for them, not to teach them, not to judge them. Because you will have learned and you are learning now neutrality, divine, beautiful neutrality for yourself, which becomes an invitation to others. When you stand in judgment, there is no invitation. When you stand in neutrality, the invitation is wide, deep and open. And it says, come baby, come. Come baby, come. I will be that light. I will be that example for you. And oh yes, you will be. Thank you so much for your service to humanity, to this planet, to our ascension. Thank you for helping and participating in the purification of this path. There's a message from the Pleiadians. Watch it. Bye for now.